Hello, today I'm here to talk to you about hoarding. Also known as being a pack rat. Now I will present you some myths of hoarding. Myth. Hoarding is extreme disorganization. Truth. Hoarding and disorganization are two different things. Many people who hoard are in fact quite organized. Myth. People who hoard don't mind clutter and dirt. Truth. Many people are so bothered by clutter and dirt that they actually mentally block it out. Pro. Hoarding affects approximately 3 million Americans. 75% of hoarders engage in excessive buying. There are several signs that let a person know that they are hoarding. One, you regularly hang on to a large number of possessions that most people will not consider useful. Two, you hold on to broken things that you hope to someday fix again. Three, the hoarding is bad enough that it causes significant distress to the body. There are also many short-term effects to hoarding. Food rottage can cause sickness and disease. Bro. Finally, hoarding can make people lose motivation to do anything in their lives. Bro. There are also many long-term effects. A long-term effect is that the stress on the family of the hoarder is the same of that of the hoarder. The structural integrity of the floors of the house you are living in can be compromised. Also, animals urinating or defecating on the floor is also unknown to the hoarder. Some treatment options are 1. Psychotherapy, 2. Paxil medications, and 3. SSRI medications. Prevention methods include trying to keep up your cleaning and bathing. Also, doing what's best for your pets. And finally, getting proper nutrition is essential to prevention.